Oh, happy day! May. Yes. <laughs> Can you say good morning to everyone? Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, Papa. Someone is a little oh, grumpy. No, you're not a lot Oh, she wants up. But she... No, no, we don't have passies during the daytime. Someone is a little bit upset <laughs> that she's not allowed to have her passy, but we're really being strict. She's over two years old and she honestly, I don't even think she needs a passy at all, but she, we still allow her to have it at nighttime because we all really need it. And anyway, the rule is she's allowed to have passy when she goes to bed, but not at daytime. But it's, for some reason she finds them everywhere. I honestly don't know where she finds them from because she finds these pazzies that I swear has been gone for like three months. Anyway, <laughs> it is Wednesday and as you can see, this table got cleaned and dirty just as quick. So I'm just going to say that this is just going to be standard. Cleaning off this table is pretty much an everyday thing. So is the laundry. That's, that's how it is with two kids. <laughs> But we also have um, the project of Nellie's closet to like switch out those clothes. I never got to that yesterday because it was just a crazy day and then um, just out of nowhere Bruce and I decided to go to the temple which was really nice and I'm glad we did it but I need to get on that wardrobe situation today so that we she actually has some clothes that fits her this weekend because like I mentioned we are going up to Sun Cell. Oh hey we got this little lady that is waking up. Hi, Nelly. Yeah, that is the. Hey, where did you find this? You, that is a passy. Can you go put it in your bed? Yeah. Yeah, go put it in your bed. Good job. <laughs> she won't put it in her bed. I saw her running total different direction. But can you say good morning to this little sweetheart? Oh, you're too excited to see your friends. Okay, so Lix is having a really grumpy day today, so. Since it's raining, I'm trying to come up with activities that will entertain her and keep her happy inside of the house because I bet that's what it is. She's just going crazy and just needs to get out. She got cabin fever, really. So I got her markers and usually I don't bring these out because even though they are washable, I think they're a mess when they get on stuff. So I, we also have this big old box that Bruce has brought up. Um, I don't know what he's gonna do with it, but he brought it up and I'm gonna see what if she would like this idea. Um, I don't know if, if you guys have seen it. It's I've seen it everywhere on like Pinterest. They basically put the toddler in the box and let them go crazy. It's supposed to keep them entertained for hours. So we'll see if it'll be hours, but I will be happy if it's even 10 minutes or even five. Who knows? Lexi, look! You wanna play with those? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to draw in the box? Yeah. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put those here. Come here, I'm going to lift you. And we're going to put you in the box. Wow. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, look, look. Which color do you want? You want red? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, tuck off the lid. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And now draw inside of the box. Wow. Now you can draw all over the box, Lexi. That's so pretty. Huh. You did an excellent job there, Lexi. We got Nelly here with us now. Are you enjoying the show? And Lexi, she is loving this. Is that fun? Is that fun to watch, Nelly? Soon enough, you will be able to draw to you and we can put you in a box. He acts as an entertainment and a babysitter. You're doing an excellent job there. You know what? I don't know how much longer I'm going to get out of this project, but you know what? Um, she's still going at it. It's been 20 minutes, maybe even longer by now, so I call this a success. Don't think this will be as fun every day though, but seriously, if you just need something for your sick toddler or <sighs> something to entertain you, maybe you're sick, then this is definitely a go. I recommend it to everyone. Thumbs up. <laughs> is that good? I was trying to get her to eat this tuna thing I made her, but you know Lexi by now. She's a picky eater. 
I even threw in some corn in there. I thought she was gonna love it. Normally she does like fish, but normally she likes tuna and pasta. So I thought that was gonna be a home run, but apparently it wasn't. So real healthy dinner today, pasta, or sorry, lunch. And we got Nelly. Hi, are you joining us? She's back on the table because we joined by our cousin Freya. Hey Freya. Huh? So I got three, two and under here. It's gonna be interesting. So uh, I know Freya just ate, but I'm just gonna uh, found something that she can have. And <laughs> she loves the baby. Is it fun with the baby, Freya? Is it fun? <laughs> so I'm gonna get these. I know my mom said that she does have raisins. So Emily, if you see this and she doesn't have it, it's not my fault, okay? Your son. Oi. <laughs> and she's carrying all the letters we have on the fridge because they're new and exciting, huh, Freya? Oh, is it yours? Uh -huh, yeah, you know, that is normally Lexi's, but Lexi has this, so Freya gets to have a taste, okay? Oh, look. Freya doesn't like it, but she wants more. <laughs> okay, Emily. If she haven't had it yet, sorry, I pretty much gave your kids candy. There was definitely an undercover cop behind me, and that was intense. I hate knowing that there's a cop behind you, you know what I mean? You just gotta be like extra careful, even though you're not doing anything wrong. You're like, oh, I gotta be careful. You know what? My invention or idea is to use, uh, program a little like GPS chip like thing, and, um, have it for like some website called where's the cops.com or an app that tells you where the cops are and what you would do with it is obviously you'd have to get the cops to agree to put them on the cars which is going to be number one stop wall whatever you want to call it or if somebody out there i'm not condoning this and i'm not saying you should but if somebody went out there and put them on all the cop cars and undercover cop cars then we would know where they are. And we could use this app on like programs like Waze or Google Maps and be like, oh, there's a cop behind me. Okay, better go the speed limit. Now I'm not saying I don't go to the speed limit because I try to, but you know, there's some times where you literally are not paying a complete attention to your speed or you just miss that yellow light and you know, those are the moments where you're like, ooh, is there a cop around? Well, now you'll know ahead of time. There's a cop behind you. Okay, so I was preparing dinner and had to run to the bathroom, and Lexi woke up, and this is how I found her. Sneak up on her. We have a rat in the house. We have a rat. Look who joined us for dinner preparation. Did you have a good nap? Can you do <laughs> Again? <gasps> I'm sure that will look fun in slow motion. <laughs> Nothing, huh? Well, hopefully you guys got a laugh out of that. Lexi's got her own cart. It's adorable and she's picking apples. This kid loves fruit. Yeah, that's right. Get the apples. How many did we get in here? We got three of them in here. And what did we need? Four, right, Mommy? There's four. What else do you want to get? Oh, corn. Oh, corn is always a good choice. Okay, you put there. Whoa, I don't even know what those are. That's a lot of corn. I don't think we need that much corn. You're gonna be like 
If you get too warm, you're gonna be popping out popcorn everywhere. Oh, I get to hold the flag. At least I get to hold the flag. That's an advantage. Come on, let's get milk. Yeah, there it is. No, 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 this one, this one, this one. Yeah, you get some of that milk. Eco-friendly. Ecological. Whoa. You doing all right there, kid? Woo, good job. There's one. Oh, how many milks do you need? There's two? Okay, I think that's good. Let's Come on, Lizzie! Come on! <laughs> oh, that's right. We need some of that, huh? Actually, actually, no, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. Let's get this one. This one's good. Orange is a good one. There we go. Look what we found. <laughs> they're frozen Kellogg's and they're stuck. No, we're not going to open it right now. We have to pay for it first. Hold off. It's hold off. Hey, hold off. Okay, you do it. You do it. Do you want it? Oh, what a happy person you are. All right. And that's how you do it. Hey, so I just got home from a really epic game night with my friends and I think Stephanie might have had some trouble here with the girls uh, before I left. Let me see if you can figure out where the problem might be. Somebody got a hold of the oats and it is everywhere. Tore open the package. Half the package is gone. Look at that. Oh, that is going to be so fun to clean up. This is why vacuums were invented. Well, as you can see, I have some work ahead of me and it is past my bedtime. But uh, thanks so much for being with us to get today, guys. We appreciate your support. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Hey Sweets, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Well, that was an eventful night, and to be honest, I feel a little bit guilty about falling asleep and let Bruce take care of that at midnight. Sorry, babe. Anyway, friends, thanks so much again for checking out today's vlog. If you're new to our channels, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye!